people are always trying to cut down their carbohydrates, especially the simple carbs, that being our white rice, our white pasta, our white bread. And this is because it breaks down into simple sugars and when our body doesn't use this all up, it can accumulate in our body as fat. I'm going to show you how to make vegan cauliflower fried rice. And this is going to satisfy your carb craving because essentially you're still eating carbs but the much healthier kind. The ingredients that you will need, of course, cauliflower, bok choy, ladies fingers which I have blanched, diced capsicum, some shallots, coriander and we've got tempeh which is one of my favourite and I've just seasoned it in turmeric, some salt, spring onions and coconut oil. Let's start with making the base ingredient, the cauliflower rice. And there you have it, cauliflower rice. You can eat this just like how you eat your rice. Let's start by heating the coconut oil. Let's put the onions in. Some spring onions and some of the capsicum. Saute the ingredients until the onions are almost translucent. The bok choy. Let's add in the lady's fingers. And the reason I blanch the lady's fingers is so that we don't have to overcook the vegetables. Okay, once you've sauteed the vegetables for a few minutes, let's add in the cauliflower rice. Allow this just to cook for a couple of minutes. You don't want to overcook your vegetables. Let's add in the remaining ingredients. So we have the tempeh, coriander, and some salt to season. Let's give this all a final mix. And at this point, you can probably turn the heat off. So there you have it, vegan fried rice. Such a simple and delicious and nutritious meal to make, packed full of carbohydrates that aren't going to spike up your sugar levels. So I encourage you to make this dish and get creative with it. Add the ingredients that you like and if you want to add a little bit of spice, just add your chili. For more Asian-inspired healthy recipes, come and check us out at purelybee.com.